thank you for joining back sir uh, okay. we have questions uh, awaiting you um, there is a question from uh, mr satyan how inventions yeah. or discoveries can be protected internationally is there any in international statutory body for this yeah uh, inventions and discoveries cannot be uh, as a global patent as such however uh, you can uh, protect the uh, discoveries and inventions provided they fulfill the criteria of patenting of each and every country depends upon there are uh, two different scenarios here in case of european union they have their european patent office uh, which is uh, uh, ruled by the european patent convention and uh, you may file one patent application uh, in that uh, patent european patent office and you may get protection of some 36 countries together and two other members so total in total 38 countries patent can be granted only in european uh, countries however uh, for other countries you may approach through patent cooperation treaty uh, by which uh, you may get uh, patent protection in multiple countries simultaneously so for that this is the, the great uh, convenience has been afforded by this uh, patent cooperation treaty that is pct uh, by sitting in india sitting at home you can file a patent application in designated countries like in your own office suppose if you are uh, in mumbai so in mumbai is a designated office for pct and you may file patent application in india in mumbai online with uh, names of the designated countries where you want to file the patent and that will be sent to the w the wipo the wipo organization that is called as world intellectual property organization and it uh, uh, the, it coordinates with the uh, countries and uh, there is a procedure uh, which is followed internationally international search international examination and thereafter the application will be uh, sent to the countries which you have designated in your application and that is the procedure of getting patents in multiple countries uh, sitting in india however you have to go through all the laws of those countries and your application should be uh, should fulfill and comply with all the conditions of patent law in the respective countries uh, next question from mr samrat uh, bandopadhyay as you mentioned the us supreme court case of diamond versus chakraborty which yeah. also talked about the patenting of pseudomonas bacteria uh -huh. oil spill eating bacteria what mm -hmm. impact it had on patenting of microorganism that is lab made microbes patentability in india do you think it has any long term effect on economy potential in marketing of patents for uh, individuals in fact, and companies in fact in fact that judgment is of american uh, us patent of us uh, supreme court so uh, it is there is no question of having any impact on india first of all second regarding protection of microorganisms in india uh, we had uh, dr marshalkar committee to uh, recommend uh, patenting of microorganisms and in india we uh, have uh, we have permitted patentability of or patenting of microorganisms although it does not fulfill the criteria of patentability as such if you go strictly by law and uh, this is to encourage the patentability of more, more encourage the invention and research, research and invention in microorganism field because uh, there are two arguments one is uh, microorganisms are not inventions as such and the other argument is that in, even the uh, microorganisms uh, result only after a lot of research therefore if you do not permit patenting of microorganisms the research in the field will completely stop therefore in order to encourage patentability and uh, encourage research in microorganisms this uh, microorganisms are specifically permitted to be patented in india even uh, marshalkar committee has recommended to uh, continue to patent uh, the microorganisms uh, there is a related query uh, sir uh, from mr paneer selvam sir yes. please tell about uh, uh, budapest treaty regarding patent registration is regarding deposit of uh, biological material so budapest yes. city is regarding bi deposit of biological materials so biological material which is patentable 
uh, you have to deposit the material because uh, the features of biological material uh, uh, cannot be tested or cannot be recorded as such. That is the reason you have to deposit that biological material uh, that allows uh, submit, uh, the deposit and maintenance of those uh, 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 biological products or substances uh, for maintaining its, uh, uh, we can say, records and uh, for enforcement of uh, patent rights in case of uh, patent granted to any biological substance. Next query by uh, Mr. Satyan. Sir, yeah. can a new power generator be patented in India? If you fulfill the criteria of patentability like novelty, inventiveness and utility, it, it has utility, power generation has utility. So if it is something uh, beyond the existing technology, something above the existing technology, definitely it will be patentable. Next query by one uh, Mr. Paneer Selvam. Sir, can you tell about the Novartis case? Novartis case. Novartis AG is a case wherein uh, a Glivec or Glivec was one chemical substance, a pharmaceutical substance, which is being treated for cancer. Uh, it has uh, multiple benefit, multiple uh, characteristics or uses in pharmacy, and uh, in fact, it was uh, existing product, and the uh, Novartis company. Uh, filed the patent application uh, uh, for Glivec, which has been refused by the patent office, uh, Madras Patent Office, on the ground that Section 3D of Indian Patent Act prohibits patenting of uh, new use of the known substance because what the Novartis company brought in for patenting was a beta crystalline uh, as against the alpha crystalline uh, salt of the uh, glivic uh, uh, pharmaceutical substance or uh, glivic, glivic drug. So the patent office said that uh, the glivic drug with uh, beta crystalline uh, 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 salt is the existing substance with uh, salt form having new use or new use of the known substance. That's why it is non-patentable under section 3, 3D. However, the opponents have argued that non-patentability of such uh, new use of known substance is uh, against the TRIPS agreement. The matter went to IPAB, that IPAB also, also accepted, the, uh, accepted the view of uh, uh, patent office and denied their claim. The matter went to High Court and finally in the Supreme Court. Uh, here in uh, the main argument of uh, the Novartis company that the uh, Indian patent law is uh, contradictory to TRIPS agreement has not been accepted because uh, you cannot uh, challenge the Indian patent law on the basis of international treaty for which uh, the other company has a different forum, first of all. And, and every matter of patentability to be uh, decided on the basis of the Indian Patent Act 1970 as amended from time to time. And Section 3D clear, clearly uh, prohibits patenting of any new use of known substance and including any salts or salt forms. Therefore, beta crystalline, although it has a new use, it is it it lacks uh, it lacks patentability because it is specifically prohibited. I have a personal query. Yeah. Please. Uh, sir, uh, with, res because, uh, with respect to academicians uh, who are doing their research, uh, yeah. uh, maybe in the fields of engineering, science and technology, uh, who are doing their uh, PhD, uh, then uh, whether they can apply for patent uh, with respect to the area in which they are working? Yes. And, uh, huh. yeah. please, what please. would be the, like, who will be the owner and uh, what are the rights? Like, is it the researcher or the university or the supervisor if you can please throw light yeah. on that yeah uh, there are two uh, things i will tell here uh, first of all it depends upon the rules of the university because uh, university provides you infrastructure university may provide you laboratories invite university may provide you uh, some expenditure or some funds for that so it depends upon the rules of the university if university but there are many universities which uh, encourage the patent uh, patenting of the results and a few of the universities, they help in patenting also. Uh, uh, herein, if the university provides for exclusive right of the inventor, there is uh, uh, no problem at all. But if 
uh, a researcher has been appointed fully for research and he is paid for the research then the complete ownership of that invention goes with the university if he has been appointed for research but if he has not been appointed for research only if he is doing phd and uh, expenditure is uh, uh, done by the uh, candidate himself then what i feel is my opinion is that it belongs to the uh, researcher himself alone and the university has no contribution however in case the university is helping the uh, candidate in registration in patent protection in uh, local working of patent in uh, bringing that invention into the industry or any other things and if they agree there is an agreement between the student and the university then the case is different so it depends upon the agreement between the parties first of all second uh, the nature of the appointment if the researcher is appointed for that uh in that case it is different is a researcher is a phd student he is doing as a part of curriculum as a part of his research for phd award then the case is different so it it, it, it different from case to case sir uh, uh, with respect to patentability sir now we publish the phd research so huh. uh, does it also amount to prior publication or uh, what should be what should a researcher do in order to get a patent suppose something you want to patent there are two types of research even in in case of uh, copyright there is no problem at all but in case of an idea which you are bringing out if you you are developing a device developing a substance like in case of pharmaceutical industry uh, sector there is a substance and uh, if you want to protect that or if you want if you are planning for getting a patent for that uh, you should not publish it anywhere before that you have to file a pri uh, uh, provisional specification and by filing a provisional specification you can protect your invention your idea which may lead to a complete uh, which, which may lead to a, a full uh, invention and you may file a complete specification within a year of filing uh, provisional specification so you get some 12 months protection under the patent law uh, however this period is very short uh, there is a chance of i think uh, if i am not wrong 3 months period of extension of provisional application uh, that at the most 15 months you may get but this period is also very short but because uh, in phd it may take years uh to complete the research so uh you, you you better you prevent publication of that anywhere except uh in the conferences conferences uh and uh, exhibitions which are uh, recognized by the uh the paris conventions international conferences international exhibitions of paris convention which are which are protected uh by the by the law itself that the novelty will be protected otherwise you will lose the novelty of that product or the idea and therefore you have to avoid that and if you are really want uh, going for patent you better you file a provisional application uh, uh, beforehand and uh, if first provisional application is left then file the next one and protect uh, it then only it will be safe otherwise you will lose it yeah, thank you so much sir that was a uh, uh, very uh, clear explanation of uh, how uh, students uh, in engineering or science streams can uh, ensure that they get a patent uh, when they are working on areas which are novel and have utility and non obviousness thank you uh, uh, by mr paneer selvam Uh, under yeah. which circumstances compulsory license may not be given by the controller regarding compulsory licenses there is a, a great controversy and uh, uh, throughout the history of india there is only one compulsory license has been granted uh, that that is in bayer corporation versus uh, natco farm hyderabad uh, <clears throat> here in uh, although the law provides a uh, grant of compulsory licenses for failure to work the invention locally or uh, uh, failure to pro uh, make the uh, invention available to the public at reasonably uh, or uh, uh, reasonable uh, affordable price so these are three uh, ingredients wherein the controller may grant the uh, compulsory license uh, provided somebody else is uh, uh willing to uh, uh, willing to uh, get the license and he has uh, 
approach the uh, owner of the patent or the patent holder and uh, uh, he has been uh, refused the grant of uh, patent uh, grant of license uh, or impose certain unreasonable conditions so that the license will not be uh, bring into and uh, in that case the any applicant who has already approached the patent owner and if his request for uh, uh, grant of license has been refused uh, or some unreasonable conditions have been uh, proposed for in that case any person may approach the patent office for uh, uh, for the grant of compulsory license and a compulsory license may be granted uh, <clears throat> however this provision has uh, remained dead wood for years uh, and very recently in 2012 for the first time in the Indian history only one uh, compulsory license has been uh, granted but immediately thereafter India has been uh, put into priority watch list by America because the American and the, the developed countries enterprises uh, they are worried about this provision because they don't want uh, to uh, want their uh, inventions to be used in this way or uh, the compulsory licenses be issued against their inventions because they will they would be at loss uh, because they wanted to exploit it more and more they want to earn more and more from India India is a big market for market for them and that is the reason they have created some pressure on India. I can't say when it can be denied, when it can be accepted because it is not for the law to determine as such, although it is there in the provisions. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for uh, patiently answering the queries of all the participants and uh, for a very uh, lucid and uh, simple uh, and clear lecture on the patentability of inventions in India. Now, I request uh, the chair professor gb reddy sir to uh, uh, please uh, give his uh, remarks uh, thank you dr irfan and uh, uh, it has been a wonderful session you know here uh, comes the beginning of the protection of one's own intellectual property in the form of inventions then uh, once we are sure about it i think the next step will be to you know in fact uh, process the, the claims which are made by the inventors be that as it may uh, professor kadri has really answered all the questions in such a comprehensive manner be it uh, the you know computer programs patentability or uh, the impact of supreme court judgment of us on uh, bacterium the pseudomonas bacterium patent but the thing is that uh, anyway, we have Article 27 of the TRIPS Agreement today. Then uh, all the other issues relating to academic patents, patents, you know, in fact, which are claimed while working for any research organization or university. And uh, uh, lastly, even the, the question about the competition law and uh, the Patents Act about the Monsanto versus Competition Commission of India. I think uh, the, the questioner was trying to ask the, 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 in fact, uh, uh, the possible irreconcilability between the Patents Act and the Competition Act. And uh, the, the Delhi High Court speaking through Justice Vibhu Bhakre ultimately held that uh, both of them are not really irreconcilable. One talks about the grant of patents. The second one talks about the exercise of patent rights. But uh, certainly it has certain ramifications, especially when we are dealing with the patenting philosophy. And uh, I'm very sure, pretty sure that uh, Dr. Kadri's explanation of, you know, in fact, uh, Section 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, along with uh, even compulsory licenses, uh, you know, provision related provisions under uh, Section 84 and other related provisions. Anyway, that is the legal approach. But uh, in fact, uh, you also must have enjoyed uh, the pictorial depiction of some of the funny patents, including the you know the the, the bags or the sachet, uh, which are invented by some American uh, uh, you know inventor to to collect the excreta of a dog. Certainly, that that clearly shows that we have to you know rise above the feeling that only the most significant things can be patented. I think uh, that uh, he was made very clear by Professor Kadri because anything which is having these 
three characteristics like the novelty, utility, and non-obviousness, without much commercial significance also, can always be patented. That is the patenting culture, which I think the government of India is uh, trying to uh, encourage, and the universities and the, the other stakeholders are also trying to you know, encourage. So we thank uh, Professor uh, Khadri. I thank all the participants. Some of the regular participants have been posing some wonderful questions. And in fact, I received the feedback that the Q&A session is much more interesting than the explanation, but both of them are inseparable. We'll continue the same with all your support.